Welcome to our lecture online and the second reduction formula we'd like to look at is the adding and subtracting of a single pi instead of two pi we're now adding just one pi or subtract to one pi so the question is what does the sine of theta plus pi look like or what does the sine of theta minus pi look like same for the cosine same for the tangent how do we figure that out well let's just start again with a regular angle between 0 and 90 degrees so the angle is theta that gives us an xy value on the unit circle right there this would be the sine of the angle, sine of theta, the y value, and this would be the cosine of the angle. So what happens when we add a pi? A pi is 180 degrees, so if we add a pi, that brings us up to the other side of the circle, and that gives us the point x, y right over here. So notice that the y value is the same as the y value there, but it's negative. Also notice that the cosine, the x value here, is the same as the x value there, but it's on the negative side. So that means that by adding pi, the sine becomes negative and the cosine becomes negative. The same thing happens when we subtract pi because when we go the other direction, minus pi, we end up again at the same place as before. So adding a pi or subtracting pi is exactly the same. We end up at the same place, which means that when we add pi to an angle, the sine then becomes the negative sine of pi. And here, the sine of um, theta minus pi, that is equal to minus the sine of pi as well. So we just simply get the negative value of that angle if we add or subtract the pi from that. Same with the cosine. This is equal to the minus cosine of theta and this is equal to the minus cosine of theta. Again it doesn't matter if we add or subtract pi the cosine becomes negative. But with the tangent, since the tangent is the sine over the cosine, this is equal to the sine of theta plus pi divided by the cosine of theta plus pi, and notice that each of those become a negative number, so that's minus the sine of pi divided by minus the cosine of pi, and the negatives cancel out, which gives us the tangent of pi. So notice that with the tangent, it doesn't make any difference, you get the exact same value, and when we subtract, no difference, this gives us the exact same value as the tangent of pi. I guess I didn't have to use parentheses, but I might as well stay consistent. So there you go. If you add or subtract pi from a sine or cosine function, you get the negative function. And if you add or subtract pi from a tangent function, you get the very same function. It doesn't change at all because the two negatives cancel out. And that's how we deal with the reduction formula when we add or subtract a single pi. 